Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to be filming a what's in my cool bag video. Um, this is stuff that I would carry if I was going to the beach or the pool. Um, I did one of these last year and I didn't like the way it turned out so I just like went back and deleted it. So I'm going to uh, redo this since I did it last summer. So the first thing I would take if I was going to the pool, and this is not in a bag, is my giant this is not even gonna fit on camera this is a um a pool float it's a donut and i wish i had like a smaller thing to show you but it's like the one of the strawberry frosted donuts let me see if i can get up and show you yeah this thing is huge you're not even gonna be able to see it all but this thing is like four feet um let me see if i can google it real quick this is the box that it comes in if you can see that you can get this at Target I got mine at Walmart and it was like on major clearance and I got mine in like January so mine was like five dollars if you buy it at Target right now it's twenty dollars it's nineteen ninety nine so that's what it looks like um, I really love it um, I just went to the pool for the first time last week for the first time this year and I used it and it took forever to blow up but I really enjoyed it so that was probably a little strange but I really like that and that's gonna be like my huge pool staple for the summer so anyway we're gonna get on to my pool bag this is what it looks like this is really heavy. This is from Victoria's Secret years ago. I'll show you the bag after I pull everything out because the bag's really heavy right now. But the first thing I'm going to take is my towel. It's just this, like a basic towel. It's blue. It's like navy blue and pink and green and it has like the Hawaiian hibiscus flower on it and it's pretty long and it's just a towel so uh let's see next is a plastic bag full of sun sunscreen and different kinds of products so i like to keep my stuff in like bags like this in case it spills i don't want it to get all over my bag it's just easier to throw it in this and not have to worry about spills I mean, it wouldn't harm the bag if it did spill, but I just like doing this. So I have some Banana Boat Deep Tanning Oil. This is SPF 8, which I don't use this a ton. Like you can see, I haven't used this a ton. I burn really easily, so I really don't use this that much. But um, I've been going on a motorcycle ride with my boyfriend, and I've been getting really tan. So, I'll probably start using this a little bit more. Um, this is a stick sunblock. This is Copper Tone Sport Sunblock Stick in SPF 30. And this is waterproof. It kind of looks like a glue stick. You just twist it up. It reminds me of, like the Elmer's glue sticks that you used to use in like elementary school. Um, here's another Banana Boat sunscreen. This is the Banana Boat Sport SPF 15. This looks like that. I usually use a lot higher SPF, but like I said, since I'm starting to get a little tan from going on the motorcycle with my boyfriend, then. I can start using a little bit less SPF because I want to get a little bit of a tan. This I use for my face. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock in SPF 55. I've used this stuff for years. I really love this for my face. Um, a comb. I don't even know where this is from. It's just a basic comb. And if I 
I need to go out somewhere, like run errands or something, like after I leave the pool, then I have a perfume. This is the pink with the splash, sunny and happy all over body mist. And it says sunny and happy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But as you can see, I haven't used a lot because this stays in my pool bag all year round. Can't even smell it. It just smells really fruity. Um, so that's that. Um, I have this Victoria's Secret bag. It's like a corally red color with white stripes. And I got this for free a couple years ago. This has some Salon Graphics Invisible Dry Spray Shampoo. So this is dry shampoo. I just keep a little travel size bottle. Um, Bath and Body Works Pocket Bag in Flip Flop Fruit. This is the old packaging for the pocket bag. So I put this one in here because it had the flip flops on it and it reminded me of summer. So I threw that one in there. Um, CoverGirl Lash Blast Length Mascara. Can you read that? CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. Um, an eyelash curler. I don't really use eyelash curlers. I don't know why this is in here. Um, contact case. I do wear contacts and contact solution. So I keep this in here just for emergencies. I don't use this all that often, but if my contacts get messed up from being in the pool or the ocean or something, then I always need to have that just in case. Deodorant. This is secret scent expressions in Cocoa Butter Kiss. This is like my favorite scent of the de uh, the secret deodorants, or one of my favorites. It smells really good. <laughs> um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Swivel Stick. You can use this like all over your body if you have any like dry areas. Um, it's for marks, blemishes, and rough dry skin, and also soothes chapped lips. I mainly put this on my lips. Um, this is the Hawaiian Tropic Lip Balm in SPF 45. And the last thing in here, you can't get this anymore, so I feel bad kind of showing it, but this is the MAC Tinted Lip Conditioner in SPF 15. In Pink Fish. This is from the Hello Kitty collection. So it looks like that. That's what the packaging. And it says MAC right there. It's just like this really pretty pink color. This is just in case I want a little bit of some color on my lips. Um, it's really moisturizing and I really like it. Um, this is for like what I use after I get home. I just put this in my bag to show you, but I keep this at home. Um, this is the Banana Boat Moisturizing Aloe After Sun Lotion. So I use this if I got like sunburn or if I want to like extend my tan, then I use this. And I just bought this like a couple of days ago and I've already used it like once or twice. Um... I keep a couple of snacks in here. I have two drinks that I usually bring with me. The first is a water. This is the Propel Lemon Flavor. You can buy this at any uh, grocery store. I really like the Propel flavors and the lemon one is my favorite. And if I want something like a little bit like more carbonated, it's kind of like a soda, then I'll bring um, the Izzy's uh, 
drinks, and this is the sparkling blackberry flavor. I'll bring any kind. I, this is just the one I picked up. I really love these. They're a lot healthier than um, soda. It's more fruit juices, but they're still carbonated. There's no added sugar and no preservatives. So those are really good. And then for like a snack, um, I have three things I usually bring for a snack. These are like peanut butter crackers. That's just if I want like a quick lunch or something. Um, here's a protein bar. This is the Zone Perfect Nutrition Bar in chocolate peanut butter. And if I want something a little sweeter, then I'll bring like some kind of fruit snacks. So these are the Welch's fruit snacks. Um, they usually just get whatever kind of fruit snacks. But I usually try to keep it sort of light if I'm going to be out in the sun all day, like in the pool or laying out or something. So, And I think the last thing in here are like my magazines and book. Get this out. So this is the book that I've been reading. This is Skinny Bitch. Um, this is a book about wanting to be a vegan. I'm not looking to be a vegan, but I try to eat a little bit more healthier. So, um, I recommend this book. It's not necessarily, um, for the younger crowd. It's a little bit vulgar, but this is a really, like, light read. So, I like this. From, I usually, re uh, read magazines instead of books, but if I want a book, then I usually bring something like this that's not for, like, school or anything. I'm not in school anymore. I graduated college um, last or last spring spring 2015 not 2016 so uh, I don't have to read any like school books or textbooks or anything like that but um, I usually read magazines so I have the health magazine um, self Women's Health, and Cosmopolitan. So, those are the, like, magazines and books I like to take. I like to take, um, really, like, light, easy reads to the beach. Like I said, I usually flip through magazines just because it's, you usually have, like, other people with you, and they're, like, talking or, like, splashing around or whatever, so, um... I usually take a magazine because it's just easier to focus on that instead of trying to re read a book. So, and this is what my beach bag looks like. This is VS Victoria's Secret. Um, it's just got like this like floral pattern with hearts. And then on the inside, it's got this really pretty like colorful floral pattern. So. Like I said, you can't get this anymore. This was from a couple years ago, but I usually take a big bag like this just to throw everything in. So, Anyways, um, I hope that was entertaining for you guys. Um, I thought I would do this since it's the start of summer and everybody's starting to go to the pool and the beach. And yeah, um, I hope you guys have a great summer. Um, leave a like. Or a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video um, leave me comments below tell me telling me what are your pool bag essentials um, I'm always looking to add new stuff to my pool bag to see if I forgot anything so I will talk to you guys later bye